what we do here is go back, 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 back. Another day, another alleged creep getting exposed in 2024. This year is about exposing everyone and it is pretty insane. Who is Cody KO and why is he in trouble? Cody Ko or Cody KO is a reactor YouTuber known to react to mostly outrageous content. Hey yo, what the fuck? Is now under fire for allegedly doing so not to the vote for work and more with Tana Mojo when she was 17 and he was 15. Mostly the public is not taking her seriously due to her past behavior, which shouldn't be the reason why a victim should not be taken seriously. FYI, YouTuber D'Angelo Wallace published this video on his channel two days ago discussing about the situation after he found out. You, one of the largest commentary creators on YouTube, knowingly committed a crime against her when she was a minor. But YouTubers and viewers alike are ignoring and discrediting these allegations solely because the person making them happens to be an unlikable woman online, Tana Mojo. And you know that people are ignoring this because nobody Nobody is working harder to bury this story than you. And you're getting away with it because commentary YouTube has a serious problem. He does have a point and it's shocking that there is a huge problem within the, co the commentary community. And I can make a whole list about it, but that's a video for another time. I can't blame any of your viewers or my viewers for not hearing about this because you've done such a good job hiding it up until now that I only found out about it recently. The situation has been talked about by smaller channels. It's been discussed at length on other platforms and it keeps almost hitting the mainstream, like with this Rolling Stone article or this H3 podcast discussion. But the reason it hasn't caught on yet, despite all of this, is that none of your friends, nobody on your level, nobody in the commentary niche with enough pull is willing to admit that this situation makes you look terrible. A lot of people like him a lot and they really are like doing any kind of mental yeah. gymnastic to just ignore it. I'm not here to accuse you of committing a crime in this video because I can't do that based on someone else's allegations. Nobody can definitively take these allegations as proof, but at the same time, they should still be looked at and not treated as an open secret and swept under the rug like you've been doing for so many years now. And from the way the situation keeps popping up more and more often, it's clear that there's only so much rug sweeping you can do before people start taking a close to look at things. So let's take a closer look. We both know that Tana Mojo is a YouTube personality with a history of lies, controversy, and genuinely problematic behavior that's become so entangled with her brand that her podcast is called Cancelled with Tana Mojo. And speaking of this podcast, about a month ago, she hosted a live episode in front of an audience, and the conversation turned to you. Who's the smallest you ever had sex with? Oh my god, no one look at me, Cody Ko. I can say that. I was literally 17. This clip started making the rounds and people were understandably perturbed because if Tana Mojo was 17, you would have been 25. So people started speculating and Tana decided to set the record straight. I hooked up with Cody Cole when I was 17 and he was 25. She claims that not only were you fully aware of her age at the time, but someone even tried to stop you and you went ahead anyway. There was a situation with Gabby Hanna at a playlist live where she pulled him aside and told him like, yo, she's 17. And then we still went and hooked up. To be clear, 17 is under the age of consent in many states, including Florida, where Playlist Live used to take place. So this means that Tana Mojo is accusing you of statutory rape, and she's not trying to hide that. This isn't just some crazy tea. It was a crime. Nothing would make this situation better, but plenty of things make it worse. Like the fact that she was a fan of yours at the time, adding an additional layer to the power dynamic you would have had over her. I grew up loving him and I think I, you know what I mean? Like I yeah. was just like excited and a fan. Tana seems to have many feelings about this, which we'll go over a bit later, but she stated very clearly that the actions she's accusing you of are inexcusable. Okay, what the fuck I'm not understanding. Once again, we had to have to sit down for this conversation. Why the fuck are these nasty ass grown as adults be talking to minors? Niggas really can't find nobody their age. I really don't understand. D'Angelo further explains his research about Cody and stated that Tana has made this accusation in the past countless of times and pointed out a witness that was there, which was Gabby Hanna. If you don't know who Gabby Hanna is, she has quite this story. But you do. You know that Tana has been making this same specific claim against you for years now. Here she is back in 2021 saying the same thing. I was 17 at the time, 18. I started kind of hooking up with other people. Shout out JC Kalen, shout out Cody Coe. 
But what lends the most credibility to Tana's claims, and what is really the most damning thing for you, Cody, is a clip that you might not have even seen yet. See, I read the Rolling Stone article, I watched the YouTube videos about this, and they all missed something. And I understand why. The clip I'm about to show you is extremely hard to find. The original has been lost to time, and it's a wonder we have this on video at all. But if there was anything to give me any more clarity about these allegations before I formed my opinion, I was going to find it. Remember how Tana said that fellow YouTuber Gabby Hanna tried to stop you before everything allegedly went down? Well, did you know that Gabby is actually on record telling the exact same story several years ago? One time, I told a guy, I saw him making out with a girl at a party yeah. who was underage, and I pulled him aside and I was like, hey man, you probably don't know, I know she like looks a little older, she's underage, watch it. And he's like, oh my god, thank you for telling me. And then he turned that... This is really really bad. People make accusations all the time, specifically regarding things that are very difficult to prove or disprove, unfortunate as that may be. But when somebody makes an allegation and they say they have a witness, and that witness can be found telling the exact same story years before any of this came out, that's not something I can just ignore. In a situation that cannot be proven, corroboration by a third party goes a long way. And frankly, Cody, the allegations against you seem to have been corroborated. Now, if you have Gabby Hanna of all people calling you out despite not saying your name you done fucked up big time and actually physically removing you from Tana when she was a minor and then you wind up doing what you did years later yeah nah you need to be stopped and the crazy part about this and even D'Angelo point this out it's that despite Tana making this accusation and Gabby Hanna saying this I believe at first, they didn't mention his name and, his, and he's going insane and his father's going insane. That's pretty much guilty, number one. But hey, I digress. It's pretty fucked up in society that when a well-known influencer or celebrity gets accused for crimes like this, whether it's alleged or proven to be true with evidence, the fans is always gonna harass the accusers. It's pretty fucked up mindset if you ask me if you have that. Honestly... It doesn't surprise me that, once again, there's another creep that's getting outed in today's society in this year. We already had the diddler, we done had Dr. Disrespect, we done have EDP. At this point, I'm just like, who next? And once again, we're going to have this conversation. Why can't you find nobody your age? I don't understand. And, I, and if anybody will give people shit about the consent and all that, really pay attention. If apparently this happened in Florida... And as D'Angelo stated in the video and upon my research, it is illegal to, to engage in intercourse with a minor who is 17 in the state of Florida. But hey, not a lot of people are ready to see that type of consent because y'all just don't care. But I, I digress. And uh, guys, this is a very insane situation. So what are you guys' opinions on the situation? Make sure you drop it in the comments below. And make sure you like, share, subscribe, and ring the bell for future notifications channel. It's your girl, Monty Two Times, signing off.